The rested New York Jets are off to New England for a little rookie-on-rookie action, and Patriots fans, this is why you should feel so excited about Mac Jones. Good throw, and it's intercepted! He's got another one, and he's got a field ahead of him! Diggs is going to take it to the end zone! Okay, obviously that's not the exciting part. Sure, he got done in by the hottest corner in football at the worst moment in the game, but what does Jones do right after? goes after the same corner on the very next play, dropping a dime to put his team back in the lead. That's what they call having big. That's what they call having a lot of guts. Oh, somehow they blew the coverage. It's born to the end zone. Jones had another solid afternoon overall in week six, rating close to 120, yards per attempt close to 11, a couple scores. Over the top he goes, diving catch. Yes, it is. You could argue he's looked as good as any of the QBs taken in the first round in the last draft, and certainly better than the QB he faces in this game. Pass to the near side and intercepted! Zach Wilson has four TDs against nine picks, and he's thrown an interception in every game. His rating's under 65, his yards per attempt under 7. Fires one down the left sideline, and it looks like that one was intercepted! He's a little tough to evaluate because he faces a lot of heat. Sacked at least once a game, has taken 18 in his five contests. Dodgers the tackle, can't dodge the Uh second and third, it goes down. But he has had those moments that show what he's capable of when he does have time to scan the field. Over the middle, he's got his man across midfield. At least the Patriots defense he faces isn't overly adept at heating up QBs. No sacks against the Cowboys, their season pressure rate not very high. One punt fake and now the throw. And that lack of pressure is part of what allowed Dak Prescott to hang 445 yards on them. Throws it down the field, it's caught at the 10, and this game is over! Even after that outing, though, New England's numbers against the pass are in solid territory. Pass to the end zone, and it's intercepted! The Jets' secondary Jones faces, average overall, but not terrible. The ball is loose! And they have been able to get into backfields on pass plays with regularity, one of the highest pressure rates in the NFL, ranking high in QB hits, too. Under pressure, and gonna go down! Jones was sacked twice last week and has been taken down at least once in every game. The Cowboys get the strip sack. Jones does have a solid running game at his disposal, though. Damian Harris going for 100 plus yards last week on over five a run. Exploding up the middle. The Jets, though, have played the run very well so far. Patterson runs into a stone wall at the line of scrimmage. Their own run game, though, is another matter. It's led by Michael Carter, but he's only been hitting at 3.5 a carry. Can't find running room, and he is very... And he'll be trying to crack a Pats defense that has held ball carriers to 3.8 a run. Elliott trying to find an opening. It's not there. This game could be kicking off a nice, long Batman-Joker rivalry, facing each other twice a year at least, for who knows how long. Which one walks away wearing the mask, and which one is left hanging upside down waiting for his next shot? Hit us with your thoughts in the comments section. Here's our panel's thoughts on the matter. I loved Jack, but he is the Joker goat.